Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? I hope you're very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a little love reading for September but of course, you know, it's a timeless reading like all of my readings so whenever you happen to uh, see this is when you were meant to see it. I'm just giggling because you have the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups so something's coming in that you're going to think is too good to be true and you may be a little suspicious of it because you've had a hard time or you've been hurt in the past. Uh, you're very, very welcome here, Sag. Thank you so much for being here with me. Yeah, see, somebody broke your heart in the past. So you're going to be suspicious of this new person coming in. Uh, they're going to seem too good to be true, but they are not. Um, thank you so much for checking out the video. I appreciate it so much. And you know, if you feel called, to um, like and subscribe for me. I would appreciate that very much as well. Okay. And I just want to start off with, look, he's still at the bottom. Still suspicious. That's okay, right? I'm gonna start off with one of these guys here. See if anything wants to come out from this deck. So what is going on for Sagittarius in love? I'm just doing it like this because they're hard to shuffle. <laughs> um, what is going on for Sagittarius in love? You have the Queen of Cups here. That's too many cards. Um, so you may have a, a water sign coming into your life. This person, they may have Cancer slash Leo in their chart. Uh, obviously they don't have to. So, yeah, they could definitely have Leo, the Sun and the Knight of Wands. Um, they, they could have water uh, in their chart, but they don't have to. See, you're going to think they're too good to be true because male or female, right? It doesn't matter. This person is a sweetheart. Um, maybe kind of psychic. This person, they might be kind of psychic, but very, very kind, very soft energy, very compassionate, um, very sweet, very loving. This person that you're dealing with, often with the Queen of Cups, you are dealing with someone who... They've kind of had to learn boundaries because basically they've been like too open with people in the past because they're they're like too nice. Um, so they've they've had to learn boundaries, okay? But it's someone who's really sweet. But I feel like you have a really nice combination with this person. Like <clears throat> they're really sweet, but they're also they have like they're fiery. They may well have Leo in their chart somewhere, or they're just presenting like this, um, like very kind of like a very happy energy like with the sun this person is going to bring you a lot of happiness that's what I'm saying I feel like because you've been through it in the past you're going to be kind of suspicious of this person you're just gonna be like okay so when is this other shoe going to drop when are you going to like show me your true colors you know but that's just they're just like this um but see they're very soft and sweet and like compassionate but I feel like they're also very you know, charismatic, very like, you know, they take a lot of action, they're very passionate, they're, they're confident, you know what I mean? Maybe a little, uh, I don't know, not not reckless, but you know, like a, like a fire sign, right? Like yourselves, you know, they, they're, they're passionate, they, they like to go for things. Um, they may have a little um, air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, what, what, what else then? So we're just going straight into this person. Okay, is there anything about um, anything? What does Sagittarius? What's going on with Sagittarius? So this is obviously someone new trying to come in. Two of Pentacles. You might be trying to make a decision about something. What is going on with Sagittarius, please? <clears throat> Excuse me, what is going on with Sagittarius? You have the Four of Swords. So there's been some kind of rest, some kind of resting period here. Um, this may be someone that you already know, but there's been a break. You know, there's been some kind of separation between you two, possibly while you're trying to make a decision about something. Um, 
it could also be for those of you who've not met this new person yet you know the four of swords like you had the three of swords in your shuffle right um you've obviously had some kind of experience that's broken your heart a little bit so or like some of you may be recovering from a total heartbreak and there's been a period of rest here okay this new person you have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck there's a heavy heavy leo energy with this person they're very this new person they're like this really lovely combination like really really sweet compassionate kind but also i feel very sexy like they have like a very alluring i mean i just look at this look at this chick look at that <laughs> like you know they're very kind of in charge kind of fiery passionate maybe a little intimidating kind of energy they're not going to be intimidating to you um because they're also showing up as this like sweetheart here they may have their own business with the queen of wands or like be in chart yeah three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck they may very well have their own business this person um or they're like a, a manager or a team leader or something but with the three of pentacles here you may find out when you meet this person that they've got their own business right this is for you you have the seven of swords here the eight of cups is kind of peeking out here i feel like maybe some of you are walking away i'm just i'm going to reshuffle that one but you have the seven of swords here aquarius had this too you see so it's like you've been trying to go up the dark path right you see how the reman's trying to get up the dark path and the angel's like no no go the other way look we planned this nice pretty way out for you like it's all sunny and warm and it's in a nice field and like why 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 are you trying to go up the dark path <laughs> what are you doing um but you didn't know it was a dark path before right you didn't maybe know that this like very warm because this person's the sun you know and you have that nice sunny path you're, you're being directed towards this this nice sunny warm energy so you might be trying to make a decision between look the king of cups you have the knight of cups here this person could very well be a water sign but i feel like this king of cups is um i mean either you're showing up you want to be the queen of cups you be the queen right but you're showing up as like the perfect partnership basically like you're both really sweet you know you've both maybe been through stuff in the past you've both kind of had to Re like almost like rain in your love you know like you've been too open with people in the past like too loving you know and they've kind of stomped on you a little bit so you had to learn boundaries and they're definitely there's definitely a love offer coming in here you know this is like the perfect couple like the sweetest couple you know someone who just totally gets you but the thing is as well like they're not just going to be a total drip because you have this queen of wands here as well like they're also like very like alluring and sexy you know so you're gonna have a lot of fun with this person but at the same time they're really really sweet but i feel like some of you you know maybe you're already in a connection and you're choosing to walk away from it or maybe this is you walking away from a situation ship you know you're closing down a cycle with someone from the past right uh, what else is going on with I don't, I don't know which one that was what's going on with Sag you have the moon here okay so you have the moon clarifying this four of swords so there's been a delay in this new connection coming in um, there's been some kind of break or like you know like I said you needed a, a healing period and it was to do with you kind of dealing with subconscious fears and anxieties because I feel you have been hurt in the past also I feel like it may there may have been a break where they wanted you to learn to listen to your intuition
because you maybe didn't know what to do about this new person. Maybe some of you have already met them and you didn't know what to do because you were hurt in the past. So you were like, right, I just need some time. Everything's feeling very muddled. Okay. Um, but your worry is unnecessary. The Nine of Swords is what they're telling you. You have the Nine of Swords here. I feel like you've been worried about this new connection or... Um, yeah, the Seven of Cups wants to come out here. I feel like you've been trying to make a decision about this. Some of you guys might have Libra in your chart because Libra had a similar reading, but the Seven of Cups, it's like you may have multiple options or it may just be that this new person seems too good to be true because you've been like dealing with, you know, people that sucked or a person that sucked in the past, but the Seven of Cups, Whatever it is for you, there, it's a need to make a decision, to choose a path. Like, be clear on what you want and take action. With the Nine of Swords here, this is like worrying. Sleepless nights, overthinking things. Um, but the, they're saying your worry is unnecessary. Like, focus your thoughts on the outcome that you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Right, let's get into um, your the Rider weight. Okay, <laughs> you have the Five of Wands and the Moon trying to come out. Things may have felt very up in the air because I don't know. There was like there's like been confusion for you here. I feel like it's it's conf confusion about which direction to go in. Okay. Uh, clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. You may be in a third party. And obviously, th the rules can be reversed here. You may be dealing with someone that's in a third party and you're waiting for them to make a decision. It might be a Libra because that was Libra's reading. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys might be in a third party and you're trying to make a decision. And obviously this is where the confusion is coming from. Like you needed a break to kind of feel like, like to think about what you really wanted here. Yeah, there's decision cards here and the sun. Okay, I see this. This fool wants to come out as well. What's this? Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, I see, I see. Get ready. <laughs> um, it's in a good way though. So you have the Five of Cups here, right? So you've obviously, you, you've been in or you're currently in some kind of situation where, um, you know, things didn't work out the way that you wanted. Okay, and you may be like, I don't wanna make the same mistakes again. But you see, the thing about the Five of Cups is you see how there's the Two of Cups behind them? That represents the Two of Cups, right? The Soulmate card. So whatever this Three of Cups was, it wasn't supposed to work out because Spirit has the Two of Cups waiting for you. They have something better for you. you there's, <laughs> that's twice you have the Nine of Swords, so you're kind of freaking out, right? You're overthinking things, you're worrying. I totally understand why. But this is what's coming. You have the Ten of Cups underneath the Five of Cups. So it's like you've been dealing with the Five of Cups, but you're actually headed towards the Ten of Cups. Like total emotional fulfillment. You have a commitment with this new person coming in. This, this Knight of Cups, you're going to be swept off your feet with this person. Um, very romantic. This person's going to make you nervous. You guys are the same. I don't think you've ever dealt with anyone like this before because when you have the king and the queen of the cups like king and queen of the cups god die uh king and queen of cups like that basically what it means is like two people who are in love with each other's soul so regardless of like this new person is very attractive right and very like alluring and sultry and all this but I feel like that doesn't matter, right? Because those types of people, you can get that type of people and they have a terrible soul or a terrible personality or something and you wouldn't want to be with them. But actually, the reason that you guys are both attracted to each other is because you're in love with each other's soul, because you're both sweethearts. And I feel strongly, you've either never met anyone this sweet or it's like very rare. And I think 
that plus the fact that you're very physically attracted to them and they're quite like confident and stuff it's just like a perfect combination so i definitely see a decision here right you have the two of wands and the two of swords <coughs> excuse me sag so with the two of wands you know some of you may have already being presented with this option, right? But you were in a connection or you were still dealing with maybe a situationship that wasn't quite ended, right? Something like that. So with the Two of Swords, you know, the Two of Swords is kind of avoiding making a decision because you don't, you know, maybe you know you weren't ready to deal with this new person or you didn't want to end the current connection because it would be, you know, difficult and I totally understand. Um, but there's going to be, you know, the sun is like seeing things clearly because you have this decision here, right? This decision you, you've been trying to make and you didn't really want to make it because you were confused, I think. But then you have the moon coming out over the sun. Uh, sorry, the sun coming out over the moon. So the moon is like things being unclear, um, being swayed by fear. And then you have the sun, you know, because, you know, the moon is like nighttime, right? You can't see everything very clearly by the moonlight. But when the sun comes out, it's like, oh, I see things clearly now. Like, I know what to do. I know which way to go. And then it, it heads towards this new beginning, the fool with this person. And there's that night of wands again. So it could very well be a Leo or this could represent you. Um, I feel like it's them. I feel like once you make the choice, they come in fast. But this could also be you, you know, making a bold decision and doing something fast. Um, and you had the Eight of Wands in the world come out. So the Eight of Wands is like a fast movement. You may be dealing with a Scorpio or you may have some Scorpio in your chart because uh, it's kind of similar to it. It's, it's like the opposite of what they had, but I feel like once you make the decision, something happens quite quickly. Like you might meet this new person very fast if you've not met them. Or you may end up ending your current situation very quickly. Okay? So that's what I'm saying about get ready. Like it's good stuff. It just, it might be, you know, the eight of ones can be like a lot of stuff happening at the, at, all at once. Right? Because if you think about it, you know, I don't know, say you're in a, say you're in a connection that you don't really want to be in, maybe the person's a little toxic, you've already met someone new who you know is like perfect for you, like a sweetheart, but you kind of, you know, you don't want to end the current connection because it's like, oh, I'm scared what the person's going to do. But once you actually say it to the person, like it's going <laughs> to, it's going to happen very fast, you know what you mean? Um... So let's talk about this new person. Who's this new person coming in for Sagittarius? Right, let's go into a different uh, deck here. Yeah, look at this. You have the hanged man and you have the death card. It's, um, I feel like you're cutting some kind of tie. I feel like there's there's been a waiting period in this connection while you cut some kind of tie. You know, like I said, either it's going to be different for different people, but either cutting a connection, you know, finally being like, no, like we're, I'm moving on from you or like you're in a connection already and you're cutting it, but it's like making the decision to, to end it. <laughs> so tell me about this new person uh, coming in for Sagittarius. Tell me about this new person for Sagittarius. I'm also looking at this card here. I don't usually read the little blurb on them. This is how I've been doing the, I've been shuffling this deck to get who I'm doing today. Um, so Sagittarius, it says, be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take an unexpected course. See, maybe you kind of, 
you didn't expect to meet this person or you don't expect to meet them because this could be something that's going to happen. And, but it's like once you meet them, you kind of re you're like, ah, that's the one. <laughs> like they're perfect for me. You have the six of cups here. It looks like a past life connection. Um, yeah, there's, you have the ace of swords here. This decision that you've been trying to make, I feel that you will make it abruptly. I feel like when the time is right, and don't worry about it because these things, they happen when they're supposed to, okay? Um, it's like you'll either make this decision about your current connection or you'll come out of hermit mode, you know, and you'll just be like, yeah, I want to go for it with this person. There's going to be like some kind of epiphany, some kind of breakthrough. Tell me about this new person coming in for Sag. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. You may meet this person through your job. Um, ah, do you know what? Aquarius had that too. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius or you've got some Aquarius in your chart. Um, and before you poo-poo that, you know, unless you know this other person's chart, they may have Aquarius in a random place somewhere, right? But you have the Eight of Pentacles here, so you may know this person through work, through an evening class or something like that, okay? Um, what else about this new person? They're a very hard worker. This person's a very hard worker. There may be a particular thing that they're good at that they get a lot of attention for. Because I just saw the Six of Wands as well and the Eight of Pentacles, they may be a, it could be a Virgo, but there's like a little bit of kind of perfecting something there, right? It's definitely, yeah, that's funny. I was actually trying to get to, I just saw the Queen, yeah, the Queen of Wands. That's twice you have the Queen of Wands. The Four of Swords, this is someone that you're in separation with or like I said, you've kind of been almost like in Hermit slash Healing mode. But it's, it's going to end. The separation is going to end quite suddenly. And I feel it's about you. I feel it's you making a decision to move forward. You know? Because maybe, I don't know, for example, maybe there's been like a situation shift and you're like, oh, should I wait for this past person or should I not? I don't know. And then it's like you just, you know, one day you're like, no, I'm done with it. And then you meet this new person or something, right? Or like I said, maybe some of you are already in a connection and it's like when you decide to leave your current connection, you meet this person or you've already met them and you're in separation or whatever. But I feel you have the eight of wands twice. I feel it's going to happen suddenly. Like there's going to be some kind of sudden communication. It's something to do with like a lot of things happening at once. And like I said, it's to do with you making this decision. But you have the queen of wands here twice. Um, <clears throat> they may be in the public eye, like there may be something that they're good at, like they may sing or they they act or maybe they're like a really good manager or a good team leader or they own their own business as well, can be the queen of wands or there's something in the public eye possibly, maybe they're a teacher, something like that. Um, anything else about this new person? But see, again, I feel like it's very well balanced because you have the, the, the cups energy here with the wands. So it's like a very nice balance. Um, it, yeah, you have the tower. I feel this person, <laughs> you have the knight of wands three times in this reading. So heavy Leo energy. Who had this? Was it Libra? I feel this person has brought or they will bring something of a tower moment to you. I think Pisces had that too. Maybe you're, maybe you got some Pisces in your chart, or they're a Pisces somewhere. But um, it's it's a good, sorry, my camera cut. Out. It's a good tower because it's like pushing you out of this confusion, this this hermit mode, or this crap relationship that you're in. They're like pushing you towards what you're supposed to be in. Yeah, you've definitely. You have the Hermit and the the uh, the Temperance card here. You've been in Hermit mode. They could be a Virgo. You have two Virgo cards here as well. Um, they don't have to be, but I feel there's been a delay. Well, 
you you were kind of thinking about what you wanted. Like I think you've been very patient in making this decision. You've really thought about it a lot. And it's almost like you're coming out of that and like now is the time, yeah, Ace of Cups. This is someone new. And I feel the love is gonna be there very, very quickly, you know? It's, it's almost like a love at first sight kind of thing because you have, you see how the Eight of Wands, it's like a whirlwind, you know? And I always think this version of the Ace of Cups is really pretty because it's like magic, it's, you know, it's almost like this person makes your head spin or like how fast it happens makes your head spin or like how fast you fall for this person makes your head spin a little bit, you know? So it's maybe like you take some time out and you step back and you're like, okay, let's think about this logically. And you know, maybe you take some time and you're like, okay, I still feel the same way. I'm gonna go for it with this person. So you have athletic build here. This person may have an athletic build they might be very sexy, okay? Like all these wands energy, particularly with that queen of wands, regardless of gender, um, you know, it's it's someone very sexy. You have a good cook here as well, and you have earth signs. So they may have uh, a little bit of earth in their chart, like uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn somewhere. You have traditional. So this new person coming in for you, Sag, they're quite traditional. You know, that might, I don't know what that would mean for you, but like, you know, they might want to get married, for example. Uh, what else about this new person? You have sensitive. Aquarius had that too. Uh, what else about this new person? But actually, I think you're very suited for each other. You know, because like I said, you're both kind of cups energy. They may hide that a little bit because they're showing up very strongly as this queen of wands, which is like very confident, very like exuding kind of power. But I think underneath it, they're more sensitive than they let on, sassy. <laughs> so they might have a bit of a mouth on them. Uh, what else about this new person for Sagittarius? You know, queen of, it's, it's very like queen of wands energy, like sass. <laughs> Faithful. Okay, so they're very alluring, very sexy, but they're very faithful as well, Sag, okay. They could have Capricorn in their chart somewhere. Okay, what else about this new person coming in for Sag, playful? So this person, like, they're very playful energy. I think you're gonna have fun. Uh, what else about this new person, Scorpio? I think we said that earlier, right? They might have some Scorpio in their chart. Uh, loyal. You also have Virgo here, so they could have some Virgo in their chart. Of course, they could just present as, um, you know, they could be those signs or they could just present as having those aspects. So like with Capricorn, you know, they might be a very hard worker and like be good at making money. Um, with Scorpio, they might have, cause Scorpio, they, they might have like very intense eyes or they might have like that, that kind of very intense sexual energy that is associated with Scorpio, you know, or Virgo, like they might be very, um, like clean or very neat or, you know, like things associated with Virgo, but of course they could actually be a Virgo because you have two Virgo cards down here. Uh, what else about this new person for Sagittarius? You have, oh, that's interesting. You have free spirited, which coming out over the queen of wands, like very free spirited energy. You also have spiritual. So this person may be, you know, see with the queen of wands here, they may have just, this is not going to be for everyone. They may have some kind of spiritual business or they may work in, in the spiritual sphere. <laughs> I could think of a better word. Okay, uh, yeah. What else about this new person? You've, oh my god, fire sign. So, yeah, they, they could be a fire sign, but again, 
I, honestly, I would be surprised if this person does not have fire in their chart somewhere, but they could just have those aspects like very passionate, like like a go-getter, you know, very alluring, all this kind of stuff. And they may have black hair as well. Although obviously like if your person is blonde, you know, if there's a specific person you're thinking of that's blonde, you know, this black hair could be for someone that needs a box ticked, you know? Because if everything else hits home and you're like, oh, but they're blonde, don't let that worry you, you know? You also have extrovert at the bottom of the deck, so they may be like, they may come across as quite extroverted and you have slender and you have soulful, okay, I'm gonna take those two and then I'm gonna stop. Um, they may have soulful eyes and they may have big eyes. So they may have big, soulful puppy dog eyes. So um, I hope that was useful, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. You know, if you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate it very much. And as always, many blessings to you, love and light.